This is the story of how my African self was calmed by an Irish man named Gary in the streets of London. Listen, since the internet has become a place where people make the conscious decision to find content that will make them angry, let me just say, this doesn't represent all Irish people and let's extend that understanding to all the negative stereotypes about Nigerians and Africans in general. Anyways, back to the story. It was a sunny day but very cold because the sun in these countries is like the light in the fridge. Like Greg David, I was walking away from the troubles in my life when I stumbled upon Gary who was standing next to his blue van and he asked me if I would like to buy a brand new MacBook at a reasonable price. He said he needed money because his wife was pregnant. Listen, I knew nothing about laptops so I phoned my Ghanaian bro Kwesi and over the phone he made me key a few things on the laptop then he told me bro, that's a bargain. In my head I saw myself using fancy words like Apple ecosystem and I was practicing looking shocked when my bro would pull out their PC. Now, Gary was trying to be friendly and asking me where I was from and stuff, even though I knew he wouldn't know where my country was, so I decided to run a quick test and I randomly said I'm from Swaziland, next to Thailand. Then the man said I was in Thailand for my honeymoon. Then, well, do not laugh, I told him Swaziland was the only country that threatened to invade the US if they did not leave Vietnam. I mean, it was fair game even though I didn't know I was Arsenal in Gary's league. Anyways, I took Gary's number based on the principle that says if I shine, my team must glow. I paid and he packaged the thing in front of me but Gary's hands were so fast that he captured my attention and left it in the past tense. I took the laptop and told Kwesi to link up with me in 30 minutes at my place for the grand opening. Listen, I was proudly walking in the streets of London, proud as if I was on a plane returning to Nigeria, the Benin bronzes stolen by the British and kept in their museum. Now, looking back, the bigger mistake I made that day was telling Kwesi to come to my place for the opening. Well, to be fair, the African in me was already dissing his Samsung laptop, but that's beside the point. Long story short, Kwesi arrived and it was time to open the package. I opened the box, very excited, obviously the African in me still making fun of my bro's Samsung and calling it a brick. I removed the laptop and guess what? It was sand, nicely sealed and packaged in a rectangular plastic thing. Listen, if denial had a representative, that day it would have been me, the man in charge. I felt defeated but the worst part was the African in Kwesi tapping on my shoulder while laughing in tears and asking me, bro, where's the laptop? Yes, that's why when I'm in public, I do not even respond to members of the opposite sex when they say things like, I like your hair. Uh-uh, leave me alone. I see Gary everywhere, especially now, except when I'm home on the African continent. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy stories, then you'll enjoy the podcast section on my YouTube channel. Link in the bio. Wait, ni ni ni.